Alright you guys, today I'm really excited because I am going to make another crab. I mean, I've been eating crabs for a long time, like once a day almost, but today I'm going to make something cool. Um, it's going to be the Singapore chili crab. So it's probably the most uh, famous, I don't know, crab dish besides stupid steamed crabs. So yeah, um, let's get started I guess. Um, Alright, we're going to need some chili sauce, some tomato sauce, sugar, and an egg. Of course, we'll probably get some cilantro too, because uh, it's, just for, <laughs> it's just for looks, you know? Okay, so <laughs> I just uh, picked out some good, um, nice, the firmest, greenest cilantro branches. I don't really even eat cilantro, but... So I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest, but uh, at least you just pick the best ones out. And um, look, I know you all think you know how to wash cilantro, but I'm not so sure about that. So look, you don't want to put it under the sink because it's just going to wilt and turn all nasty. So you actually fill this bowl with water and you just put it in there and kind of just like swirl it around. Just make sure you get all the dirt off and whatnot. And then you leave it in there because it might suck up some of the water and uh, become even more firm so that's good that's what you're supposed to do just a crab again back over here we got the um this thing is gonna be on high or six is fine all right just medium high and we're just gonna put some oil in here just gonna fry the crabs just a little bit just a little bit okay back to the crab so you see this crab here knife right okay Cut in half. And you can you can cut it more than this, but usually the the chili crab is decorated so that it, it's like a whole crab. So if you cut it anymore it'll be hard to put back in place. I usually just cut in half, that's fine. Like this, that's good. Um, and then you can take some like mallet kind of thing and just like there, see that? That was perfect. See that again. There, good. See that? That was good. Just crack open the claw because it's hard to bite open. Alright, so I'm getting a little impatient and so while I'm waiting for the stove to heat up, just why don't we just beat our egg? Just crack it into the I usually do it in a cup because that way it doesn't, you know. I just feel like it's just gonna splatter everywhere. Do it somewhere else. I just feel like, you know, if you do it inside of a bowl, I just feel like it's gonna come out. But it's safe inside of a cup, you know? Look good? Does that look good, can you see? Yeah. <laughs> Be neg. Make sure you get the bubbles. The bubbles. Okay, see I just dust some water in there and tell if the oil is hot enough, and it is now. So what I'm going to do is take the crab and dip it in the cornstarch right here. So just expose the meat parts. Just dip those parts in the cornstarch, and then maybe a little bit underneath too, and just put it in there for some good old time. This part is unnecessary, I cut this piece of ginger while you guys weren't looking. But I, I usually like to fry crabs with ginger. This makes it taste really good. Some ginger in there. Right, it's about half cooked now. I flipped it a few times. So it's time to take it out. Set it aside. Just put it in a different okay, so place. Okay, so I the fire down to about medium. And then I'm just going to put like about a third. Okay. Oh, it's way too hot still. Oops. <laughs> That's okay. Just make sure it doesn't dry up. That's all. Okay, so about a third a can tomato sauce. I know it's hard to see. Sorry, our tripod is not very tall. But I'm going to put some of the chili sauce now. Put about this much spoonful. Maybe a little bit more. And just like mix it around. That's 
some sugar. I always just like coat the top surface with some sugar. That should be enough. If your chili sauce is not flavored, then I usually flavor it with some oyster sauce right here. You see? Barely. <laughs> Alright, so I just mix all those things together. And you can taste it. It's really good. Mmm. Sweet chili sauce. I don't think it's quite salty enough though. We're gonna put some salt. Should be enough. And uh, yeah, just keep going. Mix the salt in there. And then yeah, so the sauce is pretty much ready now. All you have to do is just um, put the crab in. It so you're gonna need about this much water. It's about a bowl. Put it in there. Mix it around. Just cover it up and let it boil. Alright, it's boiling, so it is time. Put the crab in. Yeah, crab. Woo! It's gonna be good. Plus I claw. And so you uh, just spoon some of the sauce over the crab so it, you know, really flavors it. So here's the next thing, you just uh, take this, remember this, the shell, put the shell over the crab just like that, and cover the pot. We're going to wait as long as it takes for the shell to turn red, and then by that time, the half-cooked crab beneath will should be fully cooked by then. So remember this, this is the cornstarch that wasn't finished, we're going to use it now, put some water in it. About the same amount as put last time and just like really mix it up. This will thicken the soup a little bit and make it really nice. Alright, see that? Alright, check this out. It looks really good now. It's pretty much fully cooked, so we're gonna go ahead and um, finish the rest of the sauce. Alright, so remember this? This we just we just made this. Cornstarch and water, pour it in there. Maybe not all of it. And I'm just gonna mix it around. Let it thick. The sauce has thickened, so we're gonna just taste a little bit. I add a lot of water, so I don't want it to be too bland. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more salt, but I think I'll just keep the sodium low this time. And uh, we're pretty much done. So. All we have to do now is just take this crab and put it inside. Alright, that's the crab. And this is the sauce. Now we're not quite done yet. So as the sauce is still boiling here, we're gonna now take our beaten egg and just put it inside. It's kinda hard to do with one hand, but uh, just everywhere, just like that. And mix it around before it cooks too fast. And I'm gonna take it off the fire and do the rest. I'm gonna make a really nice eggy, you know, like a thick soup right here with the egg and stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what we want right here. Orange colored. Sorry, it looks much better in person, but the camera is not doing justice at all. There we go. That's our egg sauce. Let's see if we can get a better color of this. Nope, we can't. Uh, this is somewhat better. Yeah, yeah, this is more close to the actual color. You see? Okay, good.
What do you think? Singapore style chili crab. That's it, yo. Ugh. Mmm. Uh, wait, wait. Mmm. Delicious chili crab. First steps to get rid of the cilantro because I hate it so much. <laughs> what a waste. I eat this claw. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Alright, let's crack it open. Pick off the shell. Look at all that meat in there. You dip it in the crab sauce. So good. Mmm. That's good. So good. Man, it's crab. So yeah, um, go catch some crab, buy them, and cook it a Singapore chili crab. I read on Wikipedia that this is the 35th best dish in the world. I don't believe it, but because I still like the other one better. This is good. I always have a handy dandy McDonald's bag for putting in all the crab junk in. Mmm. Yep, I'm just gonna eat. You go off and make your crab. And you join me. Next time you eat a crab, you should watch this video at the same time. And then, uh, you can eat the crab at the same time. As I am. Then we can ask each other questions, like, How's your crab? Good? Yeah, I'm glad. And then you asked me a question. Good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what you're going to ask, but <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's good. Mm. Hope you enjoy crabs. It's really good. Yep.